I'm Pauline and this is going to be my very first YouTube video. So if ever I'm a bit awkward, please forgive me. I'm not used to it yet. So I'm from the Philippines, but I used to live in Japan as an English teacher for four years. But now I'm living in Graz, Austria. Graz is the second biggest city in Austria. And I know a lot of people don't know about the city because I didn't. When I asked my husband where is he from, he said Graz. I had to Google where is this city because I only know Vienna, definitely, and Salzburg. So I told him, oh, Austria, the sound of music. But you cannot really say that to an Austrian because they don't like or they don't like or they don't know anything about the sound of music and they don't like to be associated with that movie apparently which is something I didn't know so now I've been here for a month and a half um, I've been mar married for a month which was very nice and we also got a cat, Mimi I'll show you a video of the process of adopting a cat in Austria next time and since it's a new channel, basically I'll be talking about my life in Austria, traveling, and of course shopping. I love to shop. And if you have any questions about visas, especially in Japan or Austria, or places to go in Japan or Austria or Philippines, feel free to comment down below. I also put my Instagram account down there. So if you're shy to comment the comment section, you can also drop a message on my Instagram. The other day, my husband and I went to the main square and I took some videos so I can show them to you and also introduce a bit of the city. And here it goes! Okay, so we're on our way to the main square and this is my neighborhood. Also, we're using the tram. Here is Yakomini Platz, which is also called the central station. This is where you need to change lines if ever you need to go to a different place. Okay, so from Yakomini Platz, you can walk going to the main square by the street. It's called Herengasse, and all the shopping stores are located here. So it's very nice if you walk. Most of the time we do that, but for this video, we decided to just use the tram so I can show you. Okay, the yellow and white building is called the Styrian Museum where all the weapons are stored. It's like a huge museum for it, so it's really nice to visit. The one with the yellow gate, just that one, that's where we had our wedding photo shoot, which I'll upload on Facebook and Instagram. And now we're in Main Square, that is the city hall. Woohoo! Okay, so the other day my husband and I went to Hauptplatz or the main square and luckily there was a festival, they call it, I think, Bio or organic festival or veggie vegetable festival. So we were quite lucky to see a lot of organic food and what was it? I think there was also a a live show during that time and there was this raffle where they give a lot of prices to people who join but we didn't really join that time because we were not interested and my German is not that good yet to understand those colloquial terms <laughs> So we have some Austrian desserts here, which are very, very tasty. So we have different types of vinegars, sauce, wines, jams, all from Austria. Okay, so if you ever go to the main square here in Graz, you'll see the city hall. It's very big, you're always gonna see it, and that's where you go down if ever you use the tram. Beside the city hall at the right side of it, you're going to see this convenience store or grocery called Billa. B 
E I L L A. And the thing is, it's infamous for being the most dangerous supermarket or convenience store in Graz. But actually, I was not aware of that. So, when my mom and I went out for the first time without my hubby, we went to that um, said supermarket. That's my cat. <laughs> Anyways. We went there and we didn't know that it's a supermarket that you're not supposed to go to because apparently all the drunk people go there, all the high people go there. So most people who are not high or drunk really don't go there. But of course I didn't know anything about that so we went there and so it felt like a normal supermarket up until we were at the cashier trying to pay. and. There was this old lady, She was I thought she was very sweet because she was very old and she couldn't see the money so she has to pay but the cashier tried to help her count the coins and then after that she was saying something, okay so how, was the, how much is the cake and the girl said okay 10 euros and she just got mad, she started to yell and said okay that's ridiculous for a cake 10 euros and I'm like okay why is she complaining to the price it's not like you can haggle here it was very awkward and i felt bad for the cashier because she was trying to explain that you cannot really haggle it's the price there's the price tag and you already gave me your money so she went just a bit at the side so we can pay but she's still complaining the other guy at her back started to complain as well and he was very drunk and you can smell him but I don't know, that was a very very difficult experience. Shocking actually because at some point I felt like I was back in the Philippines and that thing will not happen to you in the Philippines actually. So, okay, so I told my husband about it and he was like, that's the villa that you should not go to. So if ever you're in Austria, especially in Graz, do not go to that villa. There are other groceries that you can go to except for that one. Okay, so I'm going to zoom in the villa I'm talking about. There it is. This is Cayano, which is the fancy department store in the main square. If you go to the rooftop, there is a coffee shop that has an overlooking view of the city, which is very beautiful. I recommend it. That's the clock tower, which is a very famous sightseeing place in Graz. If you want to go there, you can take the lift or use the stairs and hike up. And, of course, knowing me, I am not a hiker, so we use the lift. I'm not ashamed. <laughs> this mountain in the middle of Graz is called Schlossberg, and in order for you to go up, you can use the lift or hike. And going down, of course, you can use the stairs, or you can use this slide. I think this year they opened this slide, and it's the longest slide in Europe. I haven't tried it because there's always a long line, hopefully in the future. It's not so expensive to go up, but of course, if you're up for an adventure, then definitely you should try this one out. Okay, so on your right, you can see the slide. There it is. That's the bottom part of it. You will start, I think, midway at the top. I'm not really sure, but if you're using the elevator, you can really see it. But look how high that is. If you're not a fan of heights, then it's going to be very tough. But it's really, I bet it's going to be very nice. So the slide is the highest underground slide worldwide. Second highest overall, it's about 64 meters or 210 in feet, and that's pretty long. It's 40 seconds 
just 40 seconds of fun but i think it's worth it and in the video you can see that metal tube that is the slide and it's really long and i think you start i think i took a video of it hmm there that's where you start not far from the top of the mountain okay Here is a close-up view of the clock tower, which is considered one of the city's oldest buildings. Okay, so on top of Schlossberg, you can see a very beautiful view of the city, which is really breathtaking. And if you go down there, there is a garden. And I think I'm going to zoom in here. And that blue weird building that doesn't look like any other building, it's the Art Museum in Graz, which is also a place that you should drop by if you're interested in art. The one with the white roof is actually the top of KNO. That's the department store. Okay, so let's go down and see the garden, which is very beautiful. Okay, so this garden is called Herberstein, and back in the days they used to cultivate wine here, but now not anymore. Going down, we actually didn't use the elevator, so we went down on foot. So here a lot of joggers come by to exercise, and some people just wanted to try it out. And here's the view of it. Okay, so here's another beautiful view of the city. And definitely if you're in Europe, you must visit Austria. And if you're in Austria, visit Graz. And please subscribe to my channel. And if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. And I'll see you guys.